Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my next episode in my POTS series, which is to any doctor with a POTS patient. And if I'm looking over this way, it's because I have my notes on my computer opened. And also if you hear stormy noises, it's raining and storming outside today. But today's my day of film, so just bear with me. Um, my first point I want to make is not all POTS patients are the same. So I think I said this in episode one and I will probably say this till the end of this series that not all POTS patients are the same. And I have this problem with doctors and I'm sure most of you can relate who has POTS or any disease of whatever sorts. Um, but yeah, doctors just like to generalize somebody because they have the same disease. Well, they must all affect them. It must all, what can I talk? It must affect them all the same, but it doesn't. Each individual person has different symptoms and triggers and each thing affects them differently. So an example of this is my best friend and her mom both have POTS. They can drink coffee all day long and I cannot. Caffeine makes me feel so bad. I will be in the bed for two days if I have caffeine, which I have found a coffee that doesn't bother me as long as I don't have too much of it, which I'm thankful for. But yeah, I just can't drink a lot of coffee or I will be passing out or caffeine, pop, whatever you want to call it. My uh, second point to this topic is Gatorade is not the solution. And doctors hearing this, they're just going to get mad at me for saying that, but it's the truth. You know, yes, POTS patients get dehydrated really easily and we need to constantly be hydrated, constantly drinking water, get them electrolytes in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we get that. But Gatorade is not the solution. I had my uh, cardiologist whom I do not see anymore and this is one of the reasons why I stopped seeing him. But anytime I would go into his office, the first thing he would tell me is, well, you're worse because you just haven't had enough Gatorade. You need to go home and drink some Gatorade and you won't pass out no more. How does that make sense? It doesn't. <laughs> and also one of my things is I can't do artificial colorings and dyes because I get blisters in my throat and my mouth and it just no bueno and it also causes me to have like really bad pot symptoms and episodes and Gatorade just does not sit well with me but yeah anytime I'm at the doctor's office they Gatorade you're good to go like, no no I'll take my water water does better for me if Gatorade works for you that's great but I'm just saying it doesn't work for everybody and yeah and my next point I think we're on number four I lost count but diet and exercise usually works better than medicine. Um, it's kind of like an oxymoron though to exercise when you pass out big, or like when you have POTS because for me, whenever I stay in three to eight minutes, if I'm just standing there, I'm passing out. Like it's a no bueno. If we're in the line at Walmart, I'll be sitting on the floor because that ain't happening. <laughs> but I can walk 20 to 30 minutes without before needing to sit down, which is weird. POTS makes no sense. It's anyway. That's another tangent for another day. But yeah, dot and exercise usually helps better than medicine because when you're keeping your body healthy, then watching what you put into your body and making sure that you're up doing things and still living life and not just laying down and poor me and just, you know, exercising, taking care of the body God gave you, then it helps you feel better even though you do pass out. And for me, I had to start out really slowly with exercising and some weeks I would be able to do it one day but not the rest and it also helps having family that it will push you so my nana and my aunt will often be like you want to go for a walk in the woods and I'm like yeah cool have I passed out in the woods before yes have they had to drive me home in the rhino yes and carry me and put me in the back and let's go yeah because I've passed out but it's a part of it and you just have to get to that point where you're able to do that and once you get to that point where you know your body and know when your stopping point is then you'll be able to tell how much you'll be able to exercise and et cetera, et cetera. But for me, medicine usually makes me feel worse. Um, I've had doctors prescribe me multiple different medicines. All of it has the same outcome and I have a pretty severe allergic reaction. I don't know why medicine just has never really worked for me. Even when I was younger, just, I have, my body's weird and that's my conclusion to this, <laughs> but if you watched my allergic reaction video of I had a doctor's appointment and I had that morning I was like you know I should probably film this and I'm glad I did because of the allergic reaction to my doctor trying to basically force medicine and I don't want to say it like that but that's kind of what happened 
but um, we was in there and he asked me what medicines I was on. I was like, you know, I'm not doing medicine. I got off all of them. And he's like, well, you need to be on something. You need something that'll help you. And I'm like, yeah, but medicine ain't it. Medicine just doesn't sit well with me. And he kind of just was like, okay, well, I'm going to prescribe you this. And I'm like, I've already taken that. And this and this and this is what happened. And I said, you can prescribe medicine, but I'm not going to take it. And then he was like, okay, okay, okay. So then he's like, but you're in here for your migraines. You're going blind. Let's try these shots. And I was like, I haven't tried that before. Let's do it. Whatever. If it happens, it happens. And so surely enough, an hour or so after I had taken them, I had a bad allergic reaction. I'm going to link that video of what all happened um, somewhere in the description box. Somewhere it will be linked if you want to watch what happened. But yeah, medicine, just no bueno. <laughs> um, and my next point is I really wish doctors would help the patient. Because whenever I first got diagnosed, again, it was medicine, drink Gatorade, and go home. And that was pretty much it. And I didn't have, know any sources of where to go to, information to find, even on YouTube. The reason why I'm doing these videos is because I couldn't even find good videos on YouTube to help that just really went into the depths of POTS. And that's kind of why I'm making these videos is because I didn't have any where to turn to to help, basically. It's kind of like me and my mom against the world with the whole POTS journey. And around the first six months, it was just really hard, you know, figuring this out, figuring out what to eat, figuring out what not to eat, figuring out what to do, figuring out what not to do. Oh, hey, I see my Nana. Hi, Nana. I wonder if she can see me through me. That'd be awkward. She's looking at me. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, uh, what? I just lost my train of thought. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and then I got, uh, and then my mom actually grew up with this lady. Her name's Crystal. I've mentioned her multiple times. It's my best friend's mom, but she contacted her and because she had POTS and she posts a lot about POTS and POTS awareness and stuff. And they actually live in Florida, but when they were in Kentucky, we set up a date to meet. And that was the most amazing conversation that I have ever had about POTS because we just sat for two hours. It was me, my mom, her, and her daughters who all have symptoms and we was able to just talk about POTS, talks about what helps us or what helps them. And there's a lot of things that I have that I didn't know was a part of POTS. So like, for instance, if I raise my hands up in the air, my hands go completely numb because I'll, yeah. My uh, best friend's mom, Crystal, also has that problem. And which is funny because I didn't know that had anything to do with POTS. And then also something really weird is that sometimes I, it feels like I have bugs crawling all over me, but yeah, they had that too, and I didn't know that was a part of POTS. It's just random stuff that really helps with talking to somebody that also has POTS. Mm -hmm. And then my last point is I really wish doctors would not pressure the patients to do it their way. So again, each body is different, each patient is different, and what would work for one person may not work for you. And I've said that a bunch of times, but again, it goes back to me with medicine. Doctors always want to force medicine because they're like, well that's the holy fix is medicine but again in my case it's not and I wish doctors wouldn't push that on you and if you have you know like me had allergic reactions to medicine or whatever and you tell the doctor that doesn't work for you well they still try and force it on you and I just wish they would you know listen and not force their way of thinking on you because again I have grown up in the, on a farm we grow our own garden we eat fairly healthy and diet and exercise helps me so much more than medicine or Gatorade or yada 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 and if I keep what I'm putting into my body very natural and what God has given us on the earth then I feel a lot better and doctors just synthetic medicine solves the problem and I just I don't agree with that and I wish they wouldn't try and force it and that's why I don't go to the doctor that much is because they just again try and force their way on us and you know yes the doctor has a degree in medicine and they have a degree and studied the human body but they don't have a degree on each individual person because again each individual each individual person is different but yeah do I have any more points well I really hope well I think that was it I really hope this video is not a train wreck but you know I kind of feel like it's going to be <laughs> but that's okay that's kind of like how my brain works as a train wreck but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions.
questions about pots, feel free to leave them in the uh, description box below. I make these videos to be that person that I didn't have when I first got diagnosed. And so I just, you know, want to help anybody that I can who also has pots. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.